Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on once again. It's a big day. The State Secrets store is open with legendary token draws for the brand new Yelena Belova. She is in the store with a big time meta character with Okoye and also Black Panther. We are going to be doing a number of draws from this store today to try to get that brand new character rostered before she even makes it over to the legendary token store fantastic and we should be able to get a level or two in okoye as we go we're going to do that in a little bit in this video here we just have a couple other things to do we need to get into the crash of the titans featuring the four star carnage that should be a lot of fun and uh, then we're going to do our tokens for the day and end out with that big draw from the five star store so let's go ahead let's just do this we're going to start with the crash today then we'll do the tokens after that been a couple of days been waiting for this this is a, a little bit of a challenge here against the three star version of doc ock he can be uh, actually pretty good against carnage i think we're going to have a fine time ourselves our uh, that this carnage is level 346 and uh, has 26,000 health. So uh, the attack tiles that he creates are going to be great, but we'll talk a little bit about some strategy in this battle, and let's jump right into it. So with Carnage, he has a decent red ability where it does target damage. It's a little inexpensive and only costs six, but you need to pay attention to how um, it affects your teammates if you have them in the battle. There's none here. But if you normally do have teammates, you might want to save up for 10 red before you fire off hit this ability instead of 7. Because if at the lower number, it would do team damage to your uh, ally. So be careful about that. And um, his black ability is awesome. It's just a passive that adds attack tiles to the board for each team. Stronger ones for you, weaker for the enemy. And then Carnage Rules is his green ability that destroys a bunch of tiles on the board based on how many specials are out there. So let's just jump into it naturally. We're going to uh, try to prioritize our own colors. And Doc Ock has uh, overlap on two of those colors, black and green. His blue ability can be very strong. In fact, it can be super strong when played against a team that has a ton of enemy specials out. So we don't want him to get blue. It will deal, um, you know, a lot of damage and, and uh, rearrange the board quite a bit. Sometimes you can get some good cascades out of that. I do like Doc Ock's green ability. It has a number of effects. The main one is that it stuns a random enemy, does team damage, um, and also increases the value of a special tile and steals green. So all that stuff is uh, really not good for us if he's able to play it. We'll try to get the green and probably have an easier time with red the whole way because Doc Ock won't be going out of his way to grab red AP. Nothing much on the board for the dangerous color, so we'll go for red here. Our attack tiles are going to start doing well over 800 damage per turn. So this match is likely going to end before we can do a lot of stuff with our abilities. Better take this blue drops of green. Hate to remove some of our attack tiles, but they're all over the place. Hard to avoid also. Comparing this uh, four-star carnage to the five-star carnage, is kind of interesting. We'll do the match this way. Oh, and I'll talk about Doc Ock's passive here in a second too. Um, there, he just matched, here's, our, here's his passive. He matched our attack tiles, and what that allows him to do is add insult to that injury, and he creates uh, actually a pretty strong attack tile for a three star, and he's up to 1600 total with that new one and the ones that Carnage has been giving him all along. So that'll start adding up against us in this match as well. But you can see we're doing over 2,000 damage per turn, trying to find a way to end this with his red or green ability. I don't know that we're going to, to get that. I guess we qualified as green here. Green has um, a cost reduction in its AP value to fire the ability, depending on how many enemy specials are out there. And so let's take a look at that. Carnage rules. Uh, let's see. 
or maybe, or is it the number of tiles it destroys? I'm, I'm confusing him with uh, the four star Eddie Brock Venom in the uh, cost reduction on his ability. But regardless of that, we're going to end and probably the next turn with five star Carnage. You can earn a free match made when the enemy has four special tiles on the board or more and that's really pretty awesome but uh, the five the uh, five star carnage red ability only hits for a little more damage than what symbiote scythes does for the four star so uh, the uh, target damage is what matters here of course and let's go ahead and play carnage rules this is a really cool animation by the way you get more damage if you hit the any enemy special tiles with the random chosen tiles that are destroyed. So there we go, we get the win. Kept Doc Ock from firing off any abilities and we get the legendary token, fantastic. Okay, so let's run over, we're gonna do our token draws and end that run out. We'll, we'll do our draws, we'll add in our normal character level rewards and then we'll end it out with the legendary draws from that special store with Yelena so that should be really fun and uh, I'll point out something really quickly here the new update has gone through with the characters character additions and changes and super scroll is now available in tokens so if you need to there he, there we go if you need to set him as a target hero for um, earning shards as you make draws you can do that now he wasn't able to be selected before all right let's go down to the back here deadpool versus mpq and i should mention this as well in my next video we're going to do a pve run through in the deadpool versus mpq event it's the final stage in that and so i thought it'd be a good time to record it we're going to run immortal hulk through the entire PVE so stay tuned and check out that next video and as a bonus on that we finally have our new insider info ready to go for a new unreleased but soon to be released character to the game who should come out next week so make sure you're a subscriber if you want to and uh, check out that next that next video we'll have instructions on how to do that so we'll draw these tokens here and see if we can get any three stars are better from this vault before we're out of time. All two stars so far. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Gray suit, Black Widow. And the daily discount is just a Wolverine. So let's see. Here we go. This is going to be this the second to last store we'll do. The special Yelena Belova store where it's a 40 item vault. I like to make a big deal about that. So we'll save that for, until toward the end of our tokens here. The one time draw on Fight for Wakanda. So have you noticed it? We start Gambit is a nice hit. Uh, that the, the event went away for a really long time. The developers were looking at how it was set up and, and uh, with the hazard tiles and stuff, they, um, I think they've tweaked it a little bit and that event is opening tonight and tomorrow for some of us so i'm looking forward to get into the that uh, fight for wakanda event once again did i mention that after carnage the next crash happens to be quake so that's coming up soon let's go to unfortunately i'm not going to do any draws from the cinema legends all three of those are five star champions of mine but uh it is a, um, a, a good store, a good opportunity to get levels on, on any of those three if you need them. All right, determined, Yelena. We have another couple of shots here. Got a gold, three-star Electra. And we'll do the daily draw. Can it be gold at all? It is gold, and it's a four-star. Way to go, viewer luck. That's super worth the 200 hero points. And three, two, one... It's a four-star endgame Thanos. Very nice hit. Appreciate the luck on that one. So let's go down to... Do the elite tokens. We oh, <clears throat> Excuse me, we only have six here. 
Got a three-star Thanos in that run. And look at that. I didn't end the screen too quickly. And we got 50 bonus shards from the Elite Tokens. Really nice. They hit on Doc Ock. Cool. All right. Heroics. 14 of those. There's a 1 in 16 chance at a four-star. So with 14 tries. Plus we'll do a 15th with the daily draw. Maybe we'll get another four star just like we were alluding to and that's a nice hit guys it is a talos nice to get levels on the new characters plus uh, right ahead of super scroll kind of fits really well i didn't bonus hero super scroll myself i'm going to keep my target on karnak for a little while longer try to force him up quite a ways in levels compared to other characters. Got an Electra there. Can we get one more gold before we're out of Heroics? Then we'll do seven Mighty Tokens. Got another four star and it's 2099 Spider-Man. Awesome hit there. Cool, two of them within 14 draws is just great. Got a three-star storm, and we'll do the last couple of pulls from here. Well done. All right, so we're only going to do seven mighty tokens. That'll leave us with four. I got a feeling we're going to get all three stars, but maybe they'll surprise us. Let's hit it. There's an Iron Man. And they surprised us on draw number two. Running hot once again, and it is a Kate Bishop. All right, nice hit there. Claim it. Oh, come on. Another four. The, um... Oh, look at that. We hit the Maria Hill. That's a new, uh, new character. Didn't expect to um, see that happen so quickly. Good hit. The, um... It's, it's not only viewer luck, but is it the uh, promoter luck that uh, the developers put out to people that do videos for the game? <laughs> I don't think so. When I, do when I do draws without you guys, pull tokens with, when it's uh, just myself, they are pretty lackluster. So it all makes up for it right here with the viewer luck. Once again, another four star. And it's going to be... A Shuri awesome hit there and claim it. We'll save the rest of those mighties for next time. We should have seven or more at that point. By the way, okay, Cable is my five star in the store. Running good. That is perfect. So let's go in and level up all of those champions and then we'll come back and do the draws in the State Secrets special legendary store to try to go for Elena Belova. Can't wait. We'll do it separate so we can get a little more command points from these characters here. Not those one-star characters there, but you know what I mean. Try to get some shards and other levels here. There's a Max Champ Bullseye once again. I think we'll also Max Champ someone else today. There it is, Hawkeye. All right, and I need to duplicate Torch within 10 days, no hurry. Three stars. Okay, let's run through the threes, see if we can get any command points. Doc Ock with the Mighty Token and the Shards for ISO. 200 Hulkbuster Shards. That could be a level on him. Storm with the big hit and ton of hero points there. Electra with the CP. That's Finally, someone's listening. What we need is command points to go to draw for Yelena. 
600 shards on Fury. And Blade is ISO. All right, let's go to the four stars of the day. Ran hot once again, guys. Level on Shuri will be a big one since she's up into the 360s. That's a lot of hero points. Very cool. Maria Hill, 273. We also had some shards for 274. Cool. Kate Bishop with the command points. Nice level on Spidey and Talos there. Endgame Thanos running a little behind some of these newer characters. Black Widow, look at this. Hits the 330 for the legendary token. And the 100 hero points on the go-ahead. Perfect. Got the other Jubilee for another few command points and we have two levels worth of shards and some left over to hit 334 and Jean Grey shards coming up next. Excellent. Still have Gamora to take care of within a couple of days and no five stars yet on the list but we're going to change that right now. Let's go in to the State Secrets store, and I'm really excited, guys. Let's keep running hot like we did a little bit earlier. And can we get, I think what we should try to go for maybe is two levels on Yelena because I have two covers on Immortal Hulk that would keep them at least roughly balanced with each other. When she enters Latest Legends, then we can pull more and uh, go from there. So we might only get one, but I think we should pull as many as it takes to get one Yelena and see how we're doing on the others. If we get three Panther in a row though, hey, we might have to slow down. But let's get that viewer luck going. Let's make sure it works as well for you guys if we can. And the first draw from the State Secrets Legendary Store is going to be a five star on the first try. Are you kidding me? Unreal. It's guaranteed to be Black Panther. It could be Okoye or it could be Yelena. Who do you think it's going to be? Put it in the comments down. Pause the video for one second and we'll count it down in five, four, three, two, one. It's the brand new Yelena Belova, her red ability, top of the class, her passive that I am predicting is going to be very useful um, when you're on defense and offense. I can't wait to get her red out there in the real world. Playing her PvP, her versus event where she was featured was really quite awesome. That is such a great hit, guys. Thanks for bringing in the luck on that one. Claim it. So there we go. And uh, we're going to get some shards on Beta Ray Bill to earn a level on him pretty soon as well. And I forgot to add my levels on Karnak. So we'll get to that. We'll probably do the rest of those levels on the next video. So let's see. We got up to how many total command points there? We had 25 previous. 4674 is where we were. I want to keep track of that really quickly. We hit already the best possible um, result so far. So now let's try to go for Yelena's purple. Would be the next best result. Or Okoye, of course. And we're probably gonna we're gonna get a bunch of four stars in a row now. That's great. Gwen Pool for draw number two. Let's see. Number three is by the way, pick a four star character in your mind and see if you can get that character to come up as we go along. And let me know in the comments if you hit who you were going for. And it's a four star Black Widow once again. Are they? stealth boosted on draw rates while they are a featured character in events i don't know but it just feels like it it's also that uh sometimes when you think something exists you you find ways to rationalize it being true there's an agent venom that gambler's fallacy thing loot cage can we get another five star within seven draws? That would be epic. 
There is a Medusa. Level up my duplicate. Next draw. Captain Marvel. Okay. Let's keep going here. Let's see. Do I want to keep Bill on as my favorite now? Where are we at with him? Let's check this really quickly. Or really slowly. We did get... He's at 502. Perfect time to think about. Do we want to switch off for the time being or not? Um, let's see. Okoye here really... Let's see. Really quick is 101. I think what we'll do is keep it on Bill. If Okoye comes up in another store or in um, the Hero Point store, I might purchase her covers, her, her, her shards there. But let's keep it on Bill for draws. Okay. Now I've lost track on how many draws this is, but we can figure out the math and go. This is probably seven or eight, I think. Maybe eight or nine. X-Force Wolverine. Another Gwenpool. There's a Lockjaw. I hope none of you would guessed that we would get lockjaw as a result and you then you made it happen <laughs> i don't i don't mind him as bad as some people write, rate him pretty low four star deadpool very nice we're definitely getting due for a five again now there's a four star black panther and here we go i feel like this might be the five what do you think not yet Another Black Widow. Okay, so we are at... Oops, let's see. Make a quick note of this here. Yeah, we've done 13 draws, right? Blade. And now, uh, after, we, after we hit a 5-star in the first draw, we're on a little bit of a cold spell. We're going to snap it really soon with a five star iron fist rebuilding him that'll help a lot and go that might be a good level on vulture i think he's close to getting uh, peter parker five star shards agent colson burning through these command points we gotta hit a five star let's do it carolina Played her recently in a video. Yondu and... The Quake. Now let's see where we're at here. I don't have... Let's see. All the luck. Every time. 20 draws with one 5 star. We're very due to hit another one. Let's go. We'll probably hit a couple in a short pattern in a row. That's the way it works with... Uh, you got to look at long-term results, not short-term results. There is a Max Punisher. Been forever since I think I've landed on him. Four-star Human Torch. Star-Lord. And another Gwenpool. That is so interesting. That she would run three out of of 20 plus draws. Here we go. I feel like Black Panther might be coming up next. Let's see. Cloak and Dagger. And bonus shards. I clicked it off, guys, a little too quickly. But I think it was a, a nice hit of bonus shards. I know it was for Karnak, of course. I just don't know if it was 50 shards or even way more than that. It could have been potentially up to 400. Maybe you guys can let me know. And there we go. Back to the five stars. Nice. This is going to be Black Panther. It could be Okoye. And it would be fantastic if it's Yelena. Five, four, three, two, one. It is Black Panther. I had a feeling he'd be coming up next. And that is fine, of course. So let's keep going. We're looking for Okoye and Yelena right here. Let's go. See if we can get another five star as quickly as possible. Electra. 
there we go. A direct hit on Karnak. Beautiful. Wasp, and here we go. Let's go. Let's think purple. Ant-Man yellow. There's a kingpin. And we're back to a five-star. Okay, guys, this has got to be Okoye or Yelena. Let's make it happen. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's a level on Okoye. That's so great. Nice to boost her up. She's basically one of the best meta characters in the entire game. Claim it. All right, so now we've hit one of each of the three five stars in this store. Let me take another quick snapshot of our status here. We've made 32 total draws. Three out of 32. That's a little bit low of a rate for... For me, that's about 9 plus percent, so I think we've got a nice swing of 5 stars coming up here. Um, you never know, each draw is independent of each other, but when you look at a long enough timeline, I'll bet we have some coming up. There's Winter Soldier. Let's keep going. We're going to evaluate what the next 5 star hit is and decide when to quit from there. Another Maria. All right. Definitely don't mind building up the brand new character. I like her a lot better than most people. There is an Iron Heart. Have you gotten your guess yet as far as uh, characters? I might have said Moon Knight earlier. I thought of him before. I should have said so. And a five star. There we go. All right. Let's make this one be Yelena if at all possible. I'm feeling like it's Panther. Who do you think it is? Hopefully it's it's her or um, or her. One of the two ladies would be the best. And it is Yelena, and it's her green ability. Fantastic. Okay, so we got Black Widow here twice. We got Koi and Panther. Let's take a look. 3749. What I think we're going to do is continue a little bit and see if we can get one more Koi. I'd like to hit her without getting Panther again, but you never know. And um, we'll... Uh, stop at the very next five star i think no matter who it's going to be so let's continue get a bunch more fours in the way here of course there's another star lord wiccan all right haven't seen him for a while feels like mr f And a rogue, I think that might be the cover I need to get my duplicate rogue to 13 plus. Uh, so she can be champed again as a duplicate. Very cool hit there. We'll see if that works out. Probably on my next video is when we'll add all of these levels in. Totally awesome Hulk. And a Nova. All right, let's hit a five, and then we can wrap things up. Worthy Captain America. Obviously, that is a good hit. Another Jim Hammond, and let's make it happen here. Iceman, definitely a good hit. High level for him. And we're done, I think, guys. Let's root for... One of the ladies, primarily Okoye, if we can. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And it's Panther. Oh, no, that's okay. That's still fine. Every five-star champion level is really very good. But we're at 34.99 command points. I got to think about what we're going to do here. We only got one Okoye out of the bunch. We're going to press our luck. I didn't want to keep doing it, but I just feel like we're going to have a fast turnaround. There is a black cat. I think we're going to hit a five star within the next three or four draws. And another Maria. And Nick Fury right after Maria Hill. Interesting. We're going to get Quake next. Nope. Valkyrie. Let's go five star. 
Gamora. Need to duplicate her right now. That'll help. Emma Frost. And bonus shards. I was able to hold it off. 50 bonus shards on Karnak. Awesome. Another black cat. Doing a lot more draws than we planned here, guys. But we've got to go for Okoye when she's in a special store. Otherwise, in the, the classic Legends, it's just too difficult to get a lot of levels. Carolina Dean and... Wow, we got to speed up this draw rate, guys. There's the Quake, like we mentioned. So we've had a lot of the Shield members here recently. Ashuri. And a five star. Okay, let's get that viewer luck and concentrate it down. We're trying to hit a koi here or Elena. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. We hit a Yelena red. That is an excellent way to wrap up our token run here, and that is going to do it. I uh, let's claim that, and we'll uh, I'll get her rostered in in um, in the next video when we do a lot more stuff, but. We've got four more days here for me to evaluate and see how we're going to come back and try to go for a koi. So we'll think about that soon. Guys, don't forget, become a subscriber. We're going to run through the Deadpool's e event, Deadpool versus MPQ with Immortal Hulk. And in that next video, we'll talk about insider info, the shield intel that we call our uh, upcoming character release and bio and uh, ability information that uh, we have in advance coming out soon for next week. Check it out. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.